Here we are back with these previously very crooked boards that we very successfully straightened in the last videos in this series. When we started out the experiment, these boards were so warped and twisted, they looked more like those type of noodles that are flat and they go all over the place, linguine or whatever they are. I don't know my pasta. If you didn't see those videos, I'll put a link in the description to the playlist so you can see how we took those very crooked boards and used a very simple, effective method to straighten them out to what they are now. Over a month and a half later, they still haven't moved a bit, at least not noticeably. Some of you made some suggestions in the comments for some experiments that we could do with these boards. Several made the suggestion that even though these are now straight, they still have tension in them. If we were to rip these boards, the tension would be released and they would warp again. Maybe even to the point where if you tried to rip them with a table saw, it would bind up the table saw. I think that sounds like a good experiment to try, but we're not going to use a table saw, we're going to use the sawmill. So we'll rip one of these down, see what happens, see if it moves, see if it stays straight. Another experiment I wanted to do was to take one of these, leave it out in the rain, let it soak up with water, see what happens if it soaks up with water. Is it going to soak straight or is that going to cause it to warp? In the previous videos, soaking them with water straightened them out, but what happens when they're straight and we soak them with water? Is that going to cause them to warp or will they stay straight when they get wet? And if so, what happens when we dry them after they're wet? We'll start with that one. First, we'll take out the top test moisture meter. Check the moisture content. They should all be close to the same. They were stored in the same place. In the 10 to 12 range. This is a nice little moisture meter. The top test people have been nice to the channel. I'll give them a little plug, put a link in the description. It's a nice simple moisture meter. We'll do what we did last time, put it on top of this shipping container. It's a flat surface where they'll get rained on. I mean, it will get rained on. Last time it was them, this time it's it. And it'll be out of my way. Another common comment was, as these boards continue to dry, they're already pretty dry, but they're not kiln dried dry, but if they continue to dry, they're going to warp. Or if they're outside in the humidity and they absorb moisture out of the air, that's going to cause them to warp. People who work with wood already know that changes in humidity can cause wood to move some. But since these ones started out being extremely warped and we straightened them out, are these ones going to warp more than just normal boards would with changes in humidity? To test that, I'll take one of them and just leave it outdoors. Not out in the rain, but under cover, but in the outdoor air. We're getting into our most damp time of the year when we have a lot of high humidity, damp, cold weather. We'll just leave it out and see if anything changes. For the moment, I'll just put it in with this lumber until I figure out a better place to put it where it will be exposed to damp air, but be out of the rain and out of my way. Most important, out of my way. The next one, I'll bring it indoors in a wood stove heated environment where the air is dry. Leave it in there for a while, see if it moves. For all those experiments, we're going to have to wait for them to run their course to see what the results are. But the next one, we can do that one right now. We'll get this one out of the way. Now we'll rip this one with the sawmill and see if it does have tension in it and if it does something crazy. I'm guessing it won't do anything crazy, but we'll see if it noticeably releases tension and warps when we cut it on the mill. The problem here is if I clamp it in, it's going to bend the board, which won't affect the results, but it will affect our ability to watch the results happen. Let's try something else. This will give a more even push against it and keep it straight, I think. Before we rip this, I will go out on a limb and give my prediction. I don't think it's going to change much when we rip it. If it moves any, I don't think it'll do more than what you'd expect from just a normal board. Maybe slightly more. Since we straighten these by getting them wet, then drying them, I think it's going to be like when we go to bed with wet hair. Then wake up in the morning and we have a flat spot or it's doing something weird. When that happens, every hair dries that way. Every hair wants to be that way. I think it's going to be similar with this. All the wood fibers dried that way and all the wood fibers are going to want to stay this way. 
but I could be totally wrong about that. That doesn't come from experience. That's just what the squirrel up here running around in the cage came up with. With wood, you have different grain, different fibers. They may be all doing different things. And when we cut it, it may fly apart and do something crazy or more likely just warp. And these knots, that's another wild card. Maybe those knots, the wood fibers in there are doing something different than the wood fibers in the rest of the board. And they're going to cause it to do something. Let's find out. Let's see what we ended up with. I would say they stayed pretty straight. Let's start, let's swap these, put them in the orientation that they started in. This was a thinner board. It didn't dry quite as straight as the others. It had a little bit of warpage in it already. I don't think cutting it changed it. Let's see what it looks like this way. If you look at the way they sit on each bed section, I would say reasonably flat. To make this a good experiment, I don't know that it was fair just to do it with one board. I think we need to do a second board just to make sure we can reproduce the results. Maybe that one board was just an anomaly. Let's see what this board does. Let's see what that one did. I would say pretty flat. The one on the left is up a little higher than the one on the right. But is that not uncommon for normal lumber? On the other side, it's even more even. I'd say that's pretty flat. If I was to come up with a conclusion for this point of these videos, I would say this was an effective way to take really crooked lumber to easily straighten it into what so far appears to be stable lumber. In order to do this last piece, I had to hijack that one that I was going to leave outside in the humidity. But I can just take these pieces and leave those out and see if they change at all. This is the one we'll leave outside in the humidity that won't get rained on. After I've been watching these boards for the last month and a half since we ended the last experiment, noticing how they haven't moved at all. Even though they started out being extremely twisted and warped, I think they're now just normal, stable boards. But I'm still really curious to see what happens to the one I put on top of the container, to see what happens after it gets wet, then it dries again. That will be interesting. If you didn't see the previous videos in this series and you're not quite sure what's going on here, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description. If you go back and watch those, this one might make a little more sense. Thanks to those of you who made comments, suggestions on what to do with these boards for experiments. For those who said it in the previous videos and those who may feel compelled to mansplain it to us in this video, something along the lines of, well, if you would have milled them properly and stickered and dried them properly to begin with, you wouldn't have had the warped boards to begin with. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. We appreciate that. And on that note, Thank you for watching.